Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Wind Waker. I'm Nye. Base is still with me. Oh, hi. And we're going to go check out that forest up there. But in order to do that, we need something a little bit more threatening than a telescope. Because if we bash people over the head with this telescope, it might break it and our sister would kill us. That wouldn't be a good way to uh, start the day. Go away, snot-nosed kid. I like how he chases you. It's really funny. I think it's really funny. <laughs> now, actually, if you roll like I am right now at full speed, you actually move faster than running. You'll see me use that a lot. Is that that big? No, that's just... Okay. I thought I saw that, that big bird out there. Which would be really cool if it was actually out there. Hi. Give me weapon. Nope, it's no laughing matter. Yes, I would like to learn how to use that sword. Because I totally have time for instruction right now. <laughs> there goes Link looking him in the eyes again. Did we already went through this. Not remotely interested. But if I must combo up, that's fine. Okay, vertical slash and that combo. Cheers. And thrust. Apparently the, the camera moved ever so slightly, so that way it wasn't a thrust that time. Spin attack. He wants another one. Wonderful. Okay, this is the hard one. That is a parry. I will need those later on for Dark Nuts. And the jump attack. And those are the attacks we have in the game, folks. I have faith in you. And now we are allowed to keep the sword. Creepy. How the hell are we making that sword fly, anyways? That, that's kind of weird. And why can't I use that ability in battle? And yes, folks, this is the correct way for Link. Link is left-handed, so that's why he's holding the sword in his left hand. Those of you who have played uh, the uh, Twilight Princess on the Wii or Skyward Sword, you're doing it wrong. Indeed. Indeed. <clears throat> And bow, you have a pot belly. We are leaving now. <laughs> I love that Link is so small he has to reach way above his head to open that door. Okay guys, we have a weapon now, so let's go check out that forest. You can even see the difference in speed when I'm rolling. That's kind of cool. Like, it's no small amount. It's actually quite a quite an upgrade. I always wonder if it's comical when you're at, like, the video game development studio and you're having to record the grunts of Link. <laughs> like, how funny is that going to be? Okay, I want you to make a sound of Link jumping. Okay, that's good. Let's move on. I mean... Okay. Now we can go up higher. There's no point to doing this now, actually, because we can't do anything up here. But there is an up area, and now we can see a long ways around us. And we can see there's a wooden rope bridge that we must use to cross this chasm. 
We must also jump the scab. Done. That was fantastic. And we're just going to keep on moving. Into the forest. All kinds of creepy. Well, there's that girl. I hear that happens to a lot of parachuters. Usually they're caught by the parachute and not by their, uh, belt. So this is the creepy music, the something is going on music, the you're sneaking around and trying not to get killed music. But let's just attack this one. That was easy. Does he give me anything? A rupee. Whee! In a Wind Waker, it is not uncommon for an enemy to uh, drop an item or of some sort uh, upon death. So always make sure. There's a big rock here. What's this say? Oh, come on. Let me look at the freaking sign. Very fountain sight. The fountain of the fortune goddess. But we can't do anything here. Because there's a big rock blocking the way. That sucks. Well, that doesn't look good. They are airdropping guys on me. <laughs> That's unfair. Uh, they just gave them I love some of the enemies in this game. Like, just how arbitrary this stuff is. It's like, cool. Oh. No. No, no, you freaking sit, dude. Down. Stay. And Petra, for no particular reason whatsoever, because that is her name. Wakes up, sees herself, and struggles, because that's the best thing to do when you're caught in a branch. And she falls, exactly as you would expect. Remarkably unharmed. <laughs> What's with that getup? Tetra, that's what it is. I don't know why I th thought of Petra. Just to know a girl in school named Petra. It was weird. Yes, you're on the top of a mountain. Yes, that's very nice. Yeah, she's gonna attack the bird now. He's like, okay, well, I'm just gonna leave you alone then. And for some reason, we chase him. You know, we need a reward for what we did. Hey! It's fine, Errol. We're good. Ah, <laughs> uh, this isn't good. Decidedly not good. He just stole our sister. <laughs> Make it sound good. And Link runs off the cliff trying to chase her. Not good. It's like the worst not good I can think of. You know, without practice. <laughs> can I come with you? I know you're pirates and everything, but can I join you? I love her rationalization. Hey. Just who are you? If you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor little girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. That's a really sound logical argument.
Lots of girls being kidnapped. Young girls with long ears. They're being seen again. Also had long ears. And, you know, blonde hair and all that jazz. And a blue outfit. Yeah, this postman's got some thoughts. On the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. Because that sounds like a wonderful place to be. I like this guy. <laughs> She underestimates us. Everyone underestimates us. If I can come back with something like a shield, she'll let us stow away on her ship. Does it count as stowing away if she knows I'm there? Okay, so apparently we gotta go talk to Grandma. Let's go talk to her. She should know that I'm planning to run away into a place called the Forsaken Fortress with nothing but an old family shield and a sword. <laughs> My name's not Mulan, so I can't get away with it. <laughs> could be. Hi, I Grandma. Link could get away with it. Errol is Errol has been stolen. Yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm just gonna ignore you and your she's question. She's outside. Uh, she's uh, she's sleeping over at a friend's uh -oh, place. The shield, the shield, it's missing. Crap, Grandma. Where the hell did you put the shield? God damn it, woman! Wait, why must you it? Why do you have it? You can't even hold a shield. What the hell is that across the bottom? That is it, it, It's like a bird with a devil's face. Oh, it is weird. Doesn't, doesn't that look really, really weird? I mean, I understand the Triforce, and I understand like the, the little frippery around the top. But a bird man with a devil's face. Because that's heroic. And there's the pose. <laughs> and Link understands how stupid he looks. Oh, looks like she's just all broken up. <laughs> and Link looks all upset about it. Oh, great, this looks like a cutscene. Nope, okay. I guess she's upset, and we're just gonna walk out. Later, lady, someone else can help you with your sudden depression. Okay. Tetra, I have a shield. Let's go. It's a decrepit old shield. Yes, I'm ready to go. You know, I probably should have bought the bait bag while I was thinking about it. Oh well. And with a gong... Do pirate ships normally, like, anchor that close to a, uh, an island? Don't they usually, like, have, like, little rowboats to go there so they don't get, like, beached? No. You mean sissy craft? I love this music. Oh, Link looks so upset. And there's Grandma. And the sudden slow way. I love how sarcastic Tetra is. <laughs> how much longer are you gonna do this? Do you have an estimate? In that, like, that small smirk of hers.
and that hard steel glint in Link's eye. So Nico's gonna look after us. This does not sound like the best idea I've ever had. Nico! Nico! He's also gonna go run around New, New York and start, you know, shooting people. Let's go see peak American titties. The sad thing is, that's what this guy seems like to me. Can I go in this room? Oh. That's Miss Tetra's cabin. So we're not even allowed in there. Oh, that's a shame. This is Nico. We had bird people earlier, now this is one of the rat people. He is our superior, and he's going to make our life miserable. Now we have to take a test, apparently. First off, we gotta press that switch. First, press switch. And for no particular reason, the entire lower half of this ship has this obstacle course. <laughs> for no it's reason funny. whatsoever. And now we can swing on these ropes that have burning lanterns swinging from them. Let's see how many times you fail. <sighs> this is so arbitrary. Yeah, that's the other thing. I have a time limit, too. So arbitrary. Ah! At least one year to make it across. One rough year full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if he does it within, if I do it within a year, I get a reward. Uh, what does this button do? Does this button reset it? Yeah, that button resets it. Okay. So, let's see. First, jump on switch. Then jump across. And jump to rope number one. Woohoo! Oh, I almost fell off it. Uh, rope number two. Number three. Number four. I think I'm running out of time, so number five. One year. How about uh, 45 seconds? Let's try to have you as as my as my underling. Now he's gonna give us something. We can have the treasure in that chest. Pfft, more than one try. What's in this chest? Ooh, it's a boss level chest, too. I used to have that as my, as my uh, ringtone. Loot bag. I used to have the uh, Final Fantasy loot fanfare, or um, do, 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 Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah, Final Fantasy Seven battle finish. Do, 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 do. Well, I wanted the Master Sword song, but it was a little bit too long. Well, folks, apparently there's something that we gotta go do above decks, and uh, I can only imagine one thing it's gonna be. It's gonna be swabbing them, and that's not gonna be quite fun for you guys to watch. So I'm gonna cut this episode short, and after we go swab the decks, well, we'll see what we can do next. We'll see you guys soon.